What's up, Piper Drivers? So for the first time ever in the house, I have a lightsaber from Saber Trio. This is the Solo Guard lightsaber. <laughs> it's time to get to this. Welcome back, Hyper Drivers, to another lightsaber video. And like I said, we have a lightsaber from Saber Trio. This is the first time I've ever had a Saber Trio lightsaber in my hand, so this is pretty cool. Um, so this one came to me from a good friend of mine, Ralph. He runs the Instagram group, No More Mutants. So he saw my video that I did a week or two ago, my top five uh, lightsaber companies that I buy from, and he hit me up and he's like, yo, how come I didn't feature Saber Trio on the, on the uh, top five? And I got that in the, in the comments a lot. You know, why wasn't Saber Trio in there? Why wasn't Vader's Vault listed in there? Uh, and, you know, if you read the title, it says top five companies that I buy from. So I have never purchased a lightsaber from Saber Trio before. And although I have held a Vader's Vault lightsaber in my hand, uh, those lightsabers are extremely expensive, and I've heard that it takes a while to get a lightsaber from them, so I just I haven't had the opportunity to buy one from them, to uh, experience their customer service, so how can I list them in my top five if I've never made a purchase from them? That's, that's my thought behind it anyway. Um, so he came down uh, from northern Florida with this lightsaber that he just got from Saber Trio, and this here is the Solo Guard lightsaber. So this is a pretty neat looking lightsaber, all black. It's inspired by the look of Ben Solo's lightsaber from the uh, newer trilogy movies. So, and as an as added question, something I thought about, uh, you know, this company here, they do inspired lightsabers. They don't make lightsabers that are replicas of the movie lightsabers. So they give you something that looks similar to it, but it's, you know, has their own twist on it. If you could get a lightsaber made from a company what inspiration would you take from it? Me personally, I would go with something that looks more like Kenobi. I like the thin necks on the very front of the emitters. I, I really love the way that looks or anything where, they, where the lightsaber gets very skinny someplace. It just looks interesting to me. So in the comments below, let me know that it, what lightsaber would you take inspiration from if you were to make your own custom lightsaber? All right. So let me know about that. But this here, like I said, is the Solo Guard lightsaber. And let me give you a real close up on it. This is all black and this is the weathered version. So you can get this one in silver. I think you can get it in like a chrome finish where it has uh, like a mirror finish to it. And you have uh, these weathering. On the black one, it's got kind of like a bluing on it here at the grips. And then you have mostly just black with like uh, the scratches on the edges and stuff like that to reveal like the metal. So that's pretty neat. There is the back of the lightsaber right there where you're going to get your speaker sound from. And just like with Ben Solo's lightsaber, it's open here in the back where the sound comes through. So you can see that. All right. There is your front there. You have a switch right here, which illuminates and we'll activate that here in just a second. And you have a, uh, a uh, effects button right here that you could click on. Here is your emitter section. Same thing as with the rest of the design. You have lots of weathering and, you know, just to give it that look. And then he got a special um, a emitter, uh, what is it, the, the blade plug. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. But he got a special version of the blade plug, which also illuminates. So that's pretty cool. So this lightsaber as it sits is about a $650 lightsaber, uh, which sounds like it's expensive. Uh, it's actually on the same line as uh, like a Saber Forge lightsaber with the exception that with this one you get everything all packed in for 650 bucks. So you're going to get your Covertech wheel, which you know you need to be able to uh, clip to your belt. And then you get it shipped in a, in a box, which is great. I like when they ship stuff in, in a box and not just, you know, wrapped in plastic and, you know, you know, I, I, I hate it when I get, when I pay a lot of money for a lightsaber and what I get is something wrapped up in a bunch of uh, bubble wrap stuffed into like you know, it looks like a makeshift box. At least this here has, you know, the Saber Trio logo on it, which makes you feel like it's kind of legit. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you get your uh, Neo, Neo Pixel blade here. All right. You get your charger that you can plug in for your charging. All right. You get a USB cable so that you could transfer onto the profi board because this one here has a profi board. You get different types of plugs depending on what co uh, country you're in. 
and you get the key, which is over here, and you get the key for you to remove your, your uh, blade when you're ready to remove it. Now, this lightsaber is a NeoPixel lightsaber, but you can also get it as a, um, I guess, battle ready, or wh what do they call it? Okay, they call it a, a stunt saber, so you can have it as a stunt saber, which, you know, it's much cheaper at that point. I imagine it doesn't have any sound. You have the option to have it with a profi board, or you have the option to have it with a CFX board. So that's your, that's your three options for you to be able to get this saber, and they range in price. The CFX and the NeoPixel are about the same price, so there's really no difference there. Uh, personally, for me, if I'm getting a lightsaber lit up and everything, NeoPixel is always the best way, in my opinion. All right? The blade itself, the hilt itself, feels uh, got the nice weight to it. It's not too heavy. It's not too light, uh, but it has a real nice heft to it, so I like that. Right here at the grip, these lines that they have here are... Uh, recessed a little bit so when I when I hold it in my hands it feels like I got a good handle on it so it does feel real good in my hands very big lightsaber too so very cool uh, one of the things that I saw with this lightsaber that I think is, is awesome actually two things we'll start off with the with the first uh, the first thing is the way your the, the start of the back the the way that you activate this lightsaber so this lightsaber features a profi board you unscrew the back of the uh, of the pommel and this pops out right here, eventually. <laughs> and then in the inside is this uh, chassis. And the chassis has a kill switch that you pop. You also can see you have access, very easy access to your profi board right there. And then you have the, um, I forgot what it's called right now. Um, I, I can't think of it, the, the card, the, the, the MD card or the or your... Uh, where you save your sound fonts to and everything it has very easy access to right there at the back And then you're capable of taking and putting on your own custom fonts on here and your own custom light up So that's really cool I like that they give you easy access for that The other thing that I like a lot too from the looks of it here is that the battery seems to be a replaceable battery uh, Some of the lightsabers that I've had have been uh, Installed batteries that are permanent and then you have you know you charge it but there's no way to remove the battery afterwards. This you know, gives you the option that once the battery goes bad, it's a very easy battery to replace. So I think that's a very, very smart uh, way to put that together. I like that a lot. So you pop out the kill switch, makes a cool sound effect, and then you just push your chassis back inside, and we're gonna seal off the, the pommel. And then it screws in pretty tightly which I like too. There's no moving around or anything. Everything fits very tight, all right? So now you have the illuminated blade switch, the, the switch for the hilt, which is cool. And then even without the, the blade installed, you can ignite the saber. So you can see the way the, the uh, blade plug looks. That looks pretty freaky, man. I like it. I think that looks really cool. I like that the you have light emitting from these windows here on the side. That's a really, really nice design. And it's got a nice loud sound, smooth swing, which is cool. Um, I guess when you get the hip blade in there, you'll get the other effects too, but you have these effects, which is cool, all right? And I think if you hold it, it has like a force push sound which is really, really neat. So I think that's cool. I've never seen that before. All right. And you can also change your sound fonts by holding down the button. At last we will have our revenge. And you get a sound like that. And now you get a wholly different sound and different uh, color on the inside. See that? Really, really cool. Okay. So the next thing that I think is cool is the, where they put your, um, your key to remove your blade plug and then install your blade. They hide it in a really nice spot right here. It's very difficult to see. So right in there, in that little hole right there, all right, is your key. You can't see it anywhere. You know, it doesn't, it, it doesn't come out. It's, you know, just put, loosens up. And then you hear that sound that, you, that it's been released, which is so cool. I thought that, that's a really neat feature as well. Um, but what I like is the key that's inside that, that uh, screw. It doesn't, it doesn't fall out. It doesn't feel loose, you know, which I, I, that's a real cool feature. Uh, keeps it locked in place and, you know, makes me feel like I'm never going to lose that. And you pop your blade in. Maybe I need to loosen that up a little bit more. 
right. Like that. There we go. And then it makes a sound when it connects. You hear that? <laughs> That's cool. I like that. That's real neat. I know Disney ones do that too, but that actually sounds better. All right. Plug that in like that. Now you got your blade installed and it has a nice smooth light up, which is great. It shines pretty brightly, uh, which is cool. You have your, your clashing effects, which are cool. And then with this, you can have your blaster bolt deflection, which is really good as well, which I think I like that a lot. And then again, if you hold it down, Oh, that's a new one. You are nothing. I am Sith. <laughs> that's cool. I like that. So each one of these sound fonts have a different thing for when you hold down the effects button. So let's let's try another one. Snippets. I don't even know what snippets is, but oh, that must be like uh, Ahsoka. All right. And again, you got you got that force push. All right. Let's try another one. Kylo Ren. He got like that flame effect. His force push sounds a little different. Cool. And he even continues to make sound. That's kind of neat. The howling sound. Vengeance. Vengeance. This is more of a solid red color. All right. And this has like a, a like a, like a sound like you're clashing. That's cool. Darkness. So a lot of red colors. Personally, I would take and, and, and start upgrading the, uh, the sound fonts on this one. So that you can get some other colors. That's cool. And I, I like green. Again, you got the sound effects. Although with this one, it sounds a lot lighter. I dig it. It's really cool. So that's all that you get for $650 with this, uh, with this lightsaber. Um, again, things I really like about this saber is the overall build is very sturdy. I think it's, it's a very sturdy feel to the saber. The way that the, um, the blade fits inside of here, it feels nice and sturdy, like I said. Like it doesn't feel like it's going to wiggle or fall out. I extremely, really, really like the way that the assembly is for your uh, chassis. I like that you have a removable battery. I like that you have this... Uh, this uh, um, uh, kill switch, which uh, helps out a lot. Uh, and I like that you're able to upgrade and, and change out the sound fonts and the lights. That's a, that's a nice feature uh, with the Sabre. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And I like the uh, positioning of where your, uh, your effects button is here and then your uh, emitter switch. And the light ups and sound all sound really good. So overall, I think this is a great, great, great Sabre. Uh, would I take and run out and go buy a Sabre Trio Sabre? Uh, yeah, I would like to own one um, if they made one that fit in the type of design that I like. It's, it's, I'm not really into so much to collecting the full-on custom lightsabers. You know, like something like this that doesn't look like anything from the movie, uh, I'm less likely to pick up uh, because I, I like to collect the ones that look like the, uh, that, you know, the movie uh, savers. Uh, so that's just me. Uh, but if you're somebody that likes to have a very unique, you know, personal lightsaber to you, this is a really, really, really nice option, especially for the 650 bucks. You know, you get a whole lot of stuff going on here, you know, with the blade, with everything. This feels like a quality, quality lightsaber. So yeah, I totally would back this one. So anyway, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the Saber Trio lightsaber. Are you happy that I finally did a review on one? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, may the force be with you.